I can clip that one a little extra more if it's actually not fitting. How, how far does it need to get? Uh, far enough to put the cap on, so pretty far. Like against it, almost. Yeah, be tough to get them like perfectly straight. So now we're going to walk through what we did to calculate the Reynolds number for this laminar flow nozzle. You can see our calculations here. Our Reynolds number was 14,000 when we calculated it for the exit, which is a bit of a shock. But we discussed it and it led to a bit of a better understanding of what Reynolds numbers mean in general. This number represents the turbulence if this fluid was just flowing through a pipe of the diameter of the exit nozzle. However, it's not. It's free-flowing fluid and greatly altered by the measures we took to make it laminar. Here we decided to calculate the Reynolds number of just the 4-inch pipe. We obtained a more reasonable number, around 3,000, which is closer to being under the 2,300 threshold for laminar flow. However, this is also just considering standard water flow through that pipe at this velocity and temperature. But we are not only flowing water through the pipe, but inside that pipe are 700 tiny straws with tiny Reynolds numbers and tiny diameters. This is what caused the laminar flow. The water would eventually return to transitional flow of Reynolds number 3000 if it traveled through the 4-inch pipe long enough, but it doesn't. The straws create such a low Reynolds number that they continue to be laminar even at the high velocity of the exit nozzle.